Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? I am here for Thrifty Tuesday to share my uh, thrifted treasures from the past week. I've been doing this every Tuesday for the past few weeks. I've been doing it every week, but I kind of settled on Tuesday. You know, then I get through the weekend and then I can, uh, you know, have some time to go through everything and, and share it with you. So... Uh, the first thing I was going to share with you, this is not something I got from the past week, but uh, I had mentioned in my last video where I shared the little golden book that I did uh, as a junk journal, you know, and uh, I used some pages from this Cricut magazine. So I just wanted to share it because it's so cool. I don't know, I don't think I, don't think I ever shared these before. I kind of brought them home and just stuck them on my bookshelf. But uh, this is the cover. I had taken it apart because, like I said, took some pages out of it. Still have a lot of pages left here, but I had said in my video that, you know, the previous one, that it was from, from 1972, but it's actually 1974. December has this cute little snowman on the front. So this was a magazine in the 70s. I don't think they still, you know, put this out, but I really don't know. Uh, but it's uh, Cricket, the magazine for children. And I remember the name. Uh, I never got it or anything, but I just remember the name and for some reason, uh, maybe from when my kids were little. But uh, yeah, so I had taken a couple cute pages, but just to show you what these magazines look like a little bit, they have little stories and uh, poems and sometimes a little activity, like here's a little activity and this child, previous child, or previous child, like I'm a child, right? Another previous owner <laughs> did this little game right here. Here's a little like comic. And just to show you a few of the pages here. Really cute. Uh, I really, I really, when I discovered these, uh, I was like, there was a whole set of them at the thrift store. Here's some music pages. Here's a poem. But I just was, I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I thought it's one of those things where I just thought I found the greatest treasure in the world. <laughs> But, uh, so here is, let's see, this is the back cover. You see how cute that is. It has a little fold out here where uh, apparently maybe you could order something. I don't know, it was cut out. I don't think I, I cut that. I think that was already cut out. And just coming attractions, little cute little pictures here. And just, I really love these little magazines. So, yeah, I'm going to be using these in my journals when I remember to get them out. So, just wanted to share that because it was so cute. So, um, what did I get this week? Uh, let's see, where do I start? Let's start with, um, I went to my favorite little small town, my, you know, local mom and pop thrift store where I've gotten to know the owner. And she, um, she, you know, it's really super nice. It's just a mom and pop place, you know, not like Salvation Army or Goodwill or anything. Just one t one shop. That's it in, in my town here. So I found this book there this week. I, I couldn't believe, you know, I mean, she has a lot of books. And I have found books there before. And I have found old books before, but not very often. And she had this one this week. And I thought it was so beautiful. I love it when there's blue and red on the cover. And here's the spine. You see how old it is. I don't know if I even looked at the uh, year yet. I just saw it there. Here it says discard. Yeah, this is from my city here. Property of uh, Reedsville City Schools. That's not my town, but it's the town right next to my town. You know how you're in a... If you live in a small town and there's like a cluster of small towns. So I, have, I live in a small town. And then this town right here, Reedsville... Is right next to me, so a lot of places are there, even though it's a small town. Also, it's bigger than my town. Like, my town has under 3,000 residents, <laughs> the uh, population under 3,000. But the next town up, Reedsville, I don't know how many re uh, residents they have, but they have probably twice that many or more. Maybe they might have, um, I don't know, I, would, I wouldn't even think they have 10,000, but they might... So here's the inside of this book, just to that you know, just to share with you a little bit about uh, what I'm dealing here with here in uh, my small towns and how lucky I was to find this book in this small town. You know, it's it's really actually remarkable, but it's from a school here, I guess, 
and, uh, and you know that's what it says right there but um, yeah so look at the inside so cute but um, and when I say what I have to deal with I mean that because I say that because I came from a big town. I came from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. <laughs> so quite a big difference in between. Like I, when I lived in Fort Lauderdale, if you're from a town or a city like Fort Lauderdale, everything's right there, right? Five minutes away. Everything's five minutes away. <laughs> Here, everything's, uh, well, everything's about 30 to 45 minutes basically away except for what's right around here, which is not very much. <laughs> basically a Walmart and you know, a few grocery stores and some thrift stores. <laughs> Fortunately, we have Goodwill and a Salvation Army and a very good Goodwill and Salvation Army and this little thrift store that is actually remarkable, the things she brings in there. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little book. I just love all these vintage pictures and pages in here. I don't even know if I can take this apart, but it's a really, I couldn't believe I found it, so... Very fortunate to find that. And then what else did I bring from her place? She has some really awesome goodies. Some little uh, invitations. They're Christmassy. They have cardinals and little like holly branches on them. I haven't opened them up yet, but they look vintage. And they're by Hallmark. There is, let's see, how many is in here? Eight. So really cute little cards. I love little cards like this. When I see them, I always... Go right for them. <laughs> and then, uh, what else did I get? Basically, the rest is some trims. Okay, so I found another quilt square, I guess it is, there in her little fabric bin. This, uh, and it has like denim in the middle. And I might be using this for my next uh, design team project. I don't know. I haven't started on it yet, but I know what the theme is. It's called Denim and Lace. It's a, a kit by Studio 28E that um, Sherry has in her Etsy shop. And uh, yeah, it's denim and lace, and this has denim in the middle. I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe I can use this on my cover. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I, even if I don't use it on that, I'll use it on something, right? Really cute little, look at this right here, this piece. Admit one. It's like a little sports thing there. It says Eagles, but I like the colors. Just all these little pieces are really neat. I don't know who put it together, but here's the back. Somebody was making a quilt square, so awesome. <laughs> and then um, she sells, okay, I found, oh, let me show you these. Little stockings that I found. Now these won't be for this year. I'm done with my Christmas journals for this year, but these were so cute. Never, see, I don't know where these came from, but I'm sure they came from some bigger store. But they are at this little thrift store today, and they're super cute. So I picked those up. They're made of like felt, so I thought they were super cute. And she started, uh, she was selling trims, uh, but she started selling them by the yard. So I picked out a few trims. She had more than this, but these are kind of. Uh, mixed up, but she, uh, I said, I picked out a few that I wanted a yard from. I just got one yard, and she would take each one, and she would say, I gave you more than a yard, Sherry. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> I gave you more than a yard, Sherry, on each one. She said that, so that was funny. Very cute, though, and I really thanked her for that. That was so nice, but this one, I did I show it to you really good? Yeah, hearts, and it's blue and red. Could be for Valentine's Day. And let's see. This one I thought might be good with the denim and lace theme for my next uh, design team project. It's, um, it's fabric in the middle and then the lace on either side. Really neat. I have no idea how old these are, but I just thought this was so pretty. And yeah, so over a yard of that, she made sure she gave me over a yard of each one so she gave me my money's worth and which was not very much she charged, doesn't charge very like 50 cents or 75 cents a yard or something so this one was really neat too I thought could go with a denim theme the blue and red there could be a nice trim on a denim piece 
of uh, paper, denim paper or denim material. Just I thought that was really neat, really pretty. I love it. And then this one, super cute, strawberries. It's um, I don't, you know, I'm not that familiar with this type of trim. It's like fabric and don't know what really it's called. It's kind of stiff. <laughs> not not sure how it came uh, trim in this way. I don't know if it was made like this or or what. It was, it was on a roll, so I guess it was. But I uh, haven't used it that much and, and haven't really see, even seen it that much anywhere except for at her place. So, yeah, strawberries. And it's like a pink background. I don't know if that will show up as in the camera as pink or uh, more of a white. But it is pink. And uh, strawberries with a green vine going through. So that one, uh, of course, oh, that is so cute. So cute. I just love it. And then one more. This one is uh, heart again, but it has a little red and green branch there. Or a little green branch with a red bow on it. And then the red hearts. So really pretty little trims I thought would be a good addition to my stash. <laughs> So that is everything in. She gave me this neat bag too. I was like, oh, I love your bag. <laughs> she probably think I'm, thinks I'm crazy, but she knows I make junk journals. So she, uh, she keeps me in mind for certain things, she says. So what else did I get? <laughs> I had a really good, great week in thrifting this week. I was just so excited whenever I uh, came back from these little stores. Okay, let me show you this first of all. I have some stuff in here, but I got this bag. I mean, this is a, like a canvas bag. It looks like brand new. It has this big pocket. I guess this is canvas or it almost seems like denim, but I guess it's te technically canvas, but it's this army green kind of color. I love that. And this could be good for, I can use this as a purse like on the weekends or on a trip, or just to tote stuff to work. You know, if I tote some scrap, scrap, you know, uh, junk journal crafting stuff, I can throw it in here, but and it has this nice handle. I like that when I saw the handle. It's not, uh, I don't know if it's real leather. I don't really care. I just like the combination of this handle with this uh, canvas, uh, army green, and then it has this nice, look at this, nice little magnet snap kind of closure. And here's the inside, all nice and clean. That's my goodies <laughs> that you're seeing there that I bought at the thrift store where I got this. I just loaded it up with goodies, right? So what do I have in here? Let me see. Not that much in here. It looks like a lot, but I don't think there's that much. But yeah, a few things. Let's see. Let's unload here. <laughs> I'm unloading. Okay, so a pretty tape, a pretty um, pretty vintage. This is a very lovely uh, pillowcase. I mean, look at this. This is going in my shop. I do a uh, thrift for pillowcases, vintage pillowcases, for my shop. I love to pick them up when I find them and sh share them in my shop with whoever might need one. So this one was so pretty with these flowers. If you can see uh, the colors there, very beautiful. All the lilacs and yellows and pinks and greens and just so vintage. I don't know what year it's from, but it's pretty. <laughs> so that's going in my shop. Then let's see, what else? Uh, this little book, Peter Rabbit, uh, he needs needed rescuing. Um, kind of worn here on the spine. This would be, this is already coming off you see, but Peter Rabbit, isn't he cute? I did not look at the ear yet. I just kind of saw him and picked him up. I knew he was, you know he's old. <laughs> Let's see what year he's from. Oh, I didn't look at the year in that other book, did I? This is 1970, I gotta see. Let me grab that other book. No, we must know now. I forgot to look. I was just flipping through and blabbing, right? Let me see if there's a year here. There's got to be. 
I've got, I had an allergy attack. My son brought my dog, his dog over tonight. <laughs> so if you hear me sniffling, it's so I'm recovering from an allergy attack from the dog. But I love the dog. I don't mind if he comes over. I don't mind having an allergy attack for him. He's worth it. But um, 1953. Yeah, cool. I mean, it looks like a 1950s book, right? Okay, back over there you go. And we saw the date on this one. Let's see what the page is. Are uh, looking like here they're aging they're a little browning but decent shape no writing in here cute little Peter Rabbit book very nice I love Peter Rabbit and I love bunnies so <laughs> very nice love it love it okay let's see what else did I get okay so um, this store I found an address book here this was an address book um, this I found this particular bag I found at the bins, okay? So, they measure by weight. So I found an address book. I didn't want the address book. It was not anything I would use. And I didn't want that extra weight in my being charged for the extra weight. So these were in the address book. And I, they don't care. I just took these right out of the address book. I took these out and I took these out. <laughs> And I left the address book behind. Somebody else can have that. But I took these little dividers. I thought they were neat. They look like they're maybe starting to brown. But I just thought they were, I mean, look at that. Pretty cool. And I like these little sheets to stick in journals. Uh, I could even coffee dye these if I wanted to. But I could use them just like this. They're nice, nice for little journaling spots. I got lines on the front, blank on the back. So, and I could always use them in kind of some kind of collage or a journal card too. Glue them down on something. So, that. And then, let's see, what else? Okay, this bag I got because there was more stuff in here. It's a bag of little Christmas ornaments. This, I said I got at the bins. There was some more Christmas ornaments in here, but they are bulky, a little bit bulkier, and, uh, and so I figured I could, I probably wouldn't use them in my journals because they would add too much bulk. So I took them all out, all the ones I didn't want. I didn't want to pay for something I didn't want, even though it would be cheap. I just didn't want to have anything, you know, to deal with anything I didn't want. So I kind of saw these, but I, I, I kind of saw them, but I didn't see them. Like I didn't, you know, take time to look at every one. But these are little, I don't know if somebody... I don't know where these came from, but they're wooden. Like this one has a little string on it. So I don't know if these came from a store, somebody made these. I really don't know, I have no idea. But I've never seen them before or anything like this. But they're thin wood, so I figured I could, could they could have a lot of uses. They could be glued down on a page. They could be glued down on a journaling card. They are cute on the front and back. This one is anyway. I could hang it from a little pin in a journal. I could stick it in a pocket. I mean, just, I thought they were super cute. Had a handmade vintage look. I don't know if they are handmade or vintage, but they just have that look. I thought something very unique. That's kind of what my, my focus is, finding unique things for my journals. I mean... Is this not unique, right? <laughs> so let's just, there's a little stocking. Uh, there's a an ornament that's stuck on here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ornament. See, they almost have a little hand-painted look. Like, if they are hand-painted, they are actually really nicely hand-painted. Because I can see me doing trying to do this and it not coming out this good. <laughs> so... And, and so yeah, so cute, right? Little, uh, she's singing or he's singing with a puppy in the back. It's like the front and back, so cute, right? Oh, a gingerbread man. Now see, this definitely looks handmade. This looks like something I would make, <laughs> but super cute. I mean, if you get that in your journal, are you not going to be? Is that not going to make you smile, right? <laughs> So maybe these are handmade. Maybe they are little wood pieces that somebody painted. Uh, I don't know if it was an adult or a child, but 
like I said, like this is really nicely hand painted, paint painted if it is painted by someone. It stayed in the lines, all the colors, you know, different colors, front and back. So we've got the, let's go a little quicker. I know I'm going too slow. Bear, church. So here's the front of the church and the back of the church. A little raggedy Ann, it looks like. Front and back. A little, uh, oh, a little couple skating. Isn't that cute? Front, oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> a donkey, I think a donkey. The basket, front, oh, okay. He's got, yeah, the so both sides. Santa Claus. Um, oh, a cute little house. Isn't that adorable? So cute, right? Front and back. Oh, man, that is adorable. <laughs> A stocking. This feels different. This is, I don't know, it feels like plastic. Maybe this is plastic. Don't know about that one, if I would use it, but maybe. We'll see. Uh, Jack in the box. Oh, here's the front. Where his face is. Here's the back. Uh, snow skier. See, if you're from Florida, you say snow skier. <laughs> Around, if you're from here, from North Carolina, you probably just say skier. <laughs> but in Florida, we have water skiers, so you gotta differenti differentiate between the two <laughs> snow skiers and water skiers. So, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm used to water skiing, I'm not used to snow skiing, although we've been going since we moved here. Not me, I watch. Okay, a little doll person. Looks like a doll. Cute. A uh, little guy in his pajamas with a candle. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> his pajamas are open in the back. Oh dear, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> little. This looks like a little. This almost looks like Little Red Riding Hood, but she's got a little basket of something there. Goodies. She's got a face on this side and this side. Cool. Oh, some bells. Those are pretty. They're diff are they different? They're the same. Just the colors are a little brighter on this side. Cool. A bear. Front and back. A little rocking horse. So cool. Another bear with a pie. Front and back. Mama bear. A uh, little shoe. That's so cute. That is adorable. Camel, okay, here's the front of the camel. A little, this looks like a monk. <laughs> I think that's a monk. Okay, a sleigh, some people riding in it. And an angel, awesome, I like those. They're very unique. Uh, yeah, no one else is gonna have those, I don't think, in their journals, so I love it, love it, vintage. Uh, unique ephemera for my journals kind of not paper but wood and I'm gonna have to shape this now I've got little splinters all over okay um this is not the last thing but I've never found these cards before everybody always finds these cards and I was like I couldn't believe I found them today finally I found some at a thrift store Goodwill not the bins another Goodwill so they are English, which I think is neat, and I can read them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're like, let's see, what do they call them? English flashcards, quick study, grammar, vocabulary, so that's neat, and I, I like these because you can use these for journal prompts or, uh, you know, journal cards or whatever you want to do with them in your journal, stick them in a pocket, but like uh, depict here you get the uh, the word and then you get the definition on the back. A verb to portray or show. So really neat. They don't look like they've ever been used. I don't know. But um, this is a good time of year to be thrifting, I think. Around here anyway, people get their Christmas stuff out and just kind of like clean out a little bit. Maybe making room for the new stuff that they're going to get for Christmas. So they get rid of their old Christmas stuff they don't want. They get rid of toys and 
things like flashcards that I didn't never use since last year when they got them or something. Or, uh, you know, cleaning up their kid's closet and things like that. So, I've been finding some great stuff. Uh, a few more things. If I have a few minutes, let me see what time it is. I can probably go for, I mean, I can go for another half an hour, but we're not going to do that. I just can fit these things into this video and then that will be it. But this is, uh, I'm not buying dictionaries. I'm not buying dictionaries, but here's a dictionary. <laughs> this thing is huge and it was in such a good shape and beautiful. I had to get it, uh, and it's, I don't, I've never bought one of these before, a dictionary for young readers, I don't believe I've ever seen this one or bought one, and I think the day I got this one, I don't know where this came from, let's see, can I tell, here's a rip on this one, but, uh, I think there were a few of them there, like, where did they come from, I do not know, but lots of, lots of beautiful pages here, let me get it in the frame so you can see color lots of color in here and just the dictionary format I love because of the two columns and all the words and I just think it's really neat and this let's see if we can tell how old it is or how new it is copyright 1979 so it is a vintage uh, children's or young readers dictionary tons of pages there for me to do something with and my allergies are about to get the best of me here. Uh, Friendship in Bloom. This I got. It's new. But I'm sure it's new. It's probably new. It looks new. But uh, I got it because of the... I like to cut out the pages in here. Or take out the pages. And either... Let's see. 2005. Yeah. I just got these because they were so pretty. These floral pictures. I can either use them in a journal or cut them down to uh, little tags and things like I'll take uh, the picture cut it down to tag size and then back it with uh, some kind of paper if it needs a back you know this has a pretty flower on both sides so and I'll have to see if these are together or or what but uh, anyway I figured I could use these in my journals they're just so such beautiful flowers I I have to I had to get it and do something with it. So and I could make this into a journal if I want a little friendship book would be cute. Friendship in bloom. I mean that would make a beautiful journal, right? All your journal covers don't have to be vintage. Uh, this one, little bunny book, lost his cover. I had to rescue him. Got his back, but no cover. But let's see the pages. Pages look nice. So I don't know what happened to his cover. I didn't see it there. <laughs> he lost his cover, but he's so cute. And he is from 1961. Wow, he's old. He's pretty old for a book. <laughs> the pages are in great shape considering that it doesn't have a cover. So we'll definitely do something with these pages. Uh, yeah, and I can, yeah, I can make a new cover. Uh, Donald Duck's Adventure. Uh, I, I said this in my last video. I usually don't buy Disney books, the newer Disney books, but if I see an old one like this, so cute. They're so much cuter, the older ones. I don't know why, but they are. Got this pretty inside yellow, which is, you know, from the older books, I think. These pages are really browned. Look at how brown they are. <laughs> Let's see how old this guy is. 19, uh, 50, let's see, let's see, let me see, 1950, I just wanted to see if I'm seeing right, and these pages are kind of brilliant, you can see this one's cracking right here, so I would have to probably make these into journal cards, or, you know, see what I can do with these pages, because I don't think they'll be able to be pages, because they're already cracking, but I will definitely use them in some way. I can cut, fussy cut out uh, the pictures or I can cut them out as a whole. I can even go through and cut out certain words if I want to, which I, you know, I like to do that. I like to, to cut out words. Look at this page. Home sweet home. Isn't that cute? So, yep. 
cute little book there. Old MacDonald. He looks like an older one. Let's see how old he is. 1979. He's in good shape. Nice pages. Everything is clean here. I can use that whole book front and back. Uh, I've got a couple of these now. I'm only picking up the... Uh, I see these in different sizes. It's it's it's. Uh, I know I had one like the longer one, like the rectangle one for my boys when they were little. But uh, this one is I picked a couple of, uh, up a couple of these little square ones, and I thought they would make a nice journal, a little uh, train journal. I've got a big sticker on the back here. From uh, this is from a library around here in Greensboro and so yeah let's see the pages I mean it does look newer it's probably in the 2000s but I just like the size I only I don't I see so many of these I don't know why the little tr engine that could it's I guess it's a popular book so and I not but I don't know why people give it up I think I think I still have the one for my boys <laughs> you know I don't think I would give it up I think I I think I would save it for my grandchildren you know so, but uh, somebody's giving them up because I see these all the time. 19, uh, latest date here is, uh, well, right, the latest date here is 1976, but I don't know. It looks newer than that. I mean, see how these pages are glossy and stuff, but I guess it could be from 1976. I don't really know. There's no date on the label. Okay, one more book before my allergies just explode here. <laughs> Words to Know. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this book before, and it looks it looks vintage. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't. <clears throat> I mean, it would make a nice glue book to, if I want to make a big glue book, a bigger book. So I don't know, but the pages, of course. Look at these pages. Beautiful, beautiful pages. I love these pages. So that is worth it just all by itself, just the pages, and then. This says 1977 right here, so I think that's probably the year. Uh, here's another date. Well, that this copyright says 1969, but this says Chicago 1977, so I would guess 1977. But just really loved, loved, loved the pages in here. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, guys, and... Happy crafting, happy thrifting, and I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Good night.